Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a very, very simple makeup look today. This is my everyday makeup look, and it's really simple. It's like very few products. So if you are running errands in a hurry, a mom on a run or something like that, whatever the reason, this is a very simple makeup look, but you look a little bit put together. You look like you didn't just wake up from bed. It's very few makeup items. You look pretty ready for the day and complete. So I don't think I've ever did this video on my channel of just a very simple makeup look, my everyday makeup routine kind of thing. So it's about time that I do that. So if you're interested in how to get this very simple makeup look, then just keep watching. So I'm first going to put on primer like always. I'm just using the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer. And mainly putting that on my T-zone because that's where I want to be the most matte, but I do somewhat rub it all over my face and including like down my neck. Even though this is not a full face of makeup, I still want to cover up like my imperfections, my pimples, some of my redness. So I am going to be using the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation. This is full coverage and it's one of my favorite foundations ever. I'm just running errands in town today so I don't need like a whole glam look. But I do like my face to be covered. So that is what I'm doing. I wear this makeup look if I'm like running errands or I'm just hanging out with family today. I really don't care what my family thinks of my makeup. I mean, I'm the only one pretty much in my family that wears makeup. I have to wear like, it's either no foundation or a full coverage foundation. There is like no in between for me. It's like one or the other. And the only time that I wear like no foundation and no makeup at all is if I'm just at home. I did use this before with a makeup brush and I didn't like it as much as I like it with a sponge. So then I'm going to go into the A Cosmetics Celebration Foundation pressed powder and <laughs> mine broke. It doesn't really do me a whole lot of good but it gives me something. I suppose I'm just gonna have to toss this one and get out my new one. I just hate wasting product, especially when it's like my holy grail item. For running errands, I do not put on concealer. I could care less about concealer. Honestly, if you are wearing a good foundation, you should not have to really worry about concealer. I put it really close up to my eyes, just like concealer, so... It for the most part covers up my dark areas. So I set my foundation. So now I'm just gonna go in with some bronzer and I just have it setting here. It's the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Bronzer. And this is actually one of my favorite bronzers at the moment. It's like the Matte Radiance Bronzer. I never understood that. Like how can you make matte and radiance at the same time? But I have to put on bronzer. It's just like I will look dead if I don't Put some color to my face and now for the eyes of course i have to always use this doesn't matter what day it's like a holy grail product for me and i have to use this urban k primer one thing that bugs me is the veins on my eyelids so no matter where i go where i'm at except if i'm at home wearing no makeup at all but I always have to put something on my eyelids. I just, I hate my veins on my eyelids. It just like grosses me out. So then I take the Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Creme Brulee and I set that. I don't think I have ever did this video on my channel before of just like a everyday makeup routine. And this is literally what I do every single day. Maybe the foundation changes once in a while but as for like the eyes part, this is the only products I use. See? It just makes me look more awake because it is a shade lighter than my normal skin tone. And it covers up all those veins. I just feel like so much more better about myself that I did that. Now you'll be shocked, but that is the only products I put on my eyes except for mascara. And this is the Maybelline the Turbo Volume Waterproof Mascara. So I have noticed that throughout the years, my favorite makeup products have really changed. I used to be able to not live without eyeliner. 
and it was just like I feel so naked I have to have eyeliner on and I only put it on my waterline right here but I had to wear it even at home in like public on my no makeup makeup days I had to have liner on and now it like completely did a 180 and now I cannot live without mascara it's just like I have to have mascara on otherwise I feel like very very naked I don't know mascara I feel just like completes the makeup look now even though I don't have that much on I don't know it's just like totally weird that I couldn't live without eyeliner and I could really care less about mascara and now mascara is like my favorite thing and eyeliner I hardly ever wear it anymore even for like my makeup tutorials I hardly ever put eyeliner on it's so weird and I only need it like on my top lashes I really care less if it was on my bottom lashes. I don't know why. Uh, I just, I, kn I know. I, it makes no sense to me. Now, last step, I'm going to put a teeny tiny bit of highlight on my inner corners. And I just have this highlight sitting here. It's a Physician's Formula Warm Nude. Finn has not really got used to this whole me recording thing. So he always like runs into my camera and knocks it over but anyways I just put a little bit of highlight because it literally makes me feel more awake and more approachable and to me inner corner highlight has always been a thing of mine that's one thing that I feel will never change is inner corner highlight I always packed on the inner corner highlight but even like this simple little bit of inner corner highlight makes such a difference and I'm actually gonna worry about my lip product later and I'm actually making a party pizza right now that's like one of my favorite foods ever even though it's so unhealthy for you but I don't feel like putting on liquid lipstick or lip gloss and then just taking it all off like in two minutes so I'm just gonna leave that blank but I'll probably just throw on a clear lip gloss and be good to go but this is my everyday makeup routine so hopefully it was a little bit enjoyable and I don't know, maybe give you some tips of how to cut down your makeup if you're in a hurry or something like that. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell and subscribe for me down below and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!